All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SR and E, so rental therapeutic sync. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back, and let's jump into this chart. So I had slightly moved these, and they were down here from yesterday to today. So very important thing I want to point out is how the resistance was broken. And as I always state in every single video, how important the resistance level is and once it's turned into a support what happens that's what i love about chart analysis that it continued to work its way up once it was used as support and it continued to run so great day for the bulls definitely dominated by the bulls and the bulls are actually trying their best to continue this run throughout the day and also they need to break through resistance levels so that this can start to see newer highs i mean if they don't break through resistance, this could be on its way back down or the 50 day moving average can catch up to it, which we're going to go into detail in just a second. But Sorrento has been in a recovery state from these lows after being in a very bearish run down at 580. And from that point forward, it's been running up with all the volatility in the market. It fell again because it hit a high up here of about 1218. And now we're in a slight recovery and the bulls are trying to take over this chart. So let's move these to their new locations so that we can see where they should be placed. So let's go ahead and put them there. Just bear with me one second. And here's our new resistance levels and our new support. So support is where this stock actually leveled off in the run and it continued and this was really dominated by the bulls throughout the day and we're going to look at the most important points so 50 day moving average is super important it lets us know on what side of the chart we're in and this will start to continue to move as this stock continues to move sideways or upwards and right now the 50 day moving average is 1098 super important number it lets us know what side we're on we're on bullish territory the moment this gets crossed we are back in bearish territory now our resistance level most important point for the bulls they need to break through 1169 turn that into a support they just recently hit that in the last 30 minute time frame and that needs to be broken through turn into a support so they can continue this run and hit newer highs now in the next couple of hours because the market hasn't completely closed until eight this could be in a sideways movement or continue to work its way up if the numbers do break through 1169, whatever number it breaks through at the end of the day, that would be the new resistance level. And that point needs to be broken through because this momentum to continue, the bulls need to continue to come in hefty and strong to move further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction to hit newer highs and new resistance levels. But as of right now, 1169 needs to be broken through and turn into a support. On the other hand, we have what the bears want. The bears want to break through the 50 day moving average, but before getting there, they have to break through support. And our support level right now is showing 1109. If that gets broken through, there's a small window of uncertainty here and we're still in bullish territory, but I'd pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting and behaving. How quickly is it moving down to get closer to the 50 day moving average? Or is it slightly hanging out in between the 50 day moving average and the support? And are the bulls trying to reappear and bring this one back up to stay above the 50 day moving average so super important that if 1109 does get broken through to pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting and how quickly are the bears trying to bring this one down closer to the 50 day moving average and trying to cross the 50 day moving average to bring it down so that's super important to keep in mind and be watch the behavior of this stock as it plays out if it breaks through the support so i want to emphasize that because that's a really big jump from way up here down to 1109 that means that the bears really appeared and they're trying to tear this one down and the volatility that just happened here or wherever it reaches and it gets close to the support or breaks through it that's all uncertainty and profit taking that quickly happened and it just destroyed all this momentum that the bulls created so the bulls are want, going to want to break through this resistance. And as we just saw on the chart, it already readjusted. It was way up here 
at the highest peak and it's about to close off in the next couple of minutes probably at 1158 and now 1169 is the highest peak in this 30 minute time frame and it's just making it more difficult for the bull so this is a very important point right now there has been a rejection created there and if it continues below it the bulls need a break through 1169 to hit newer highs as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe share this with your friends and community don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that i post and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you'll watch this video thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money at the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that I circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the Federal Reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S&P 500 index up, also brings up individual ticker symbols with them and again 30 cents to three dollars may not sound like a lot of profit per share but that does add up and like i say profits are profits so we're going to look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what i talk about in the video and it's a weekly series i wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out but here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pumps. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 3420. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index. And that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're going to look at another one here. And the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling. And you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part not every time but for the most part but on the 21st which was a monday it was rising up and it rose up to this point here and the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different. There was a catalyst form beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59. It actually dipped on the date of the next pump, which we see it here, which was on the 29th of September. And the next one was on the 6th, which just happened yesterday. And it actually slightly dipped. Now, not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself. Because if we look at the previous notes that I did beforehand, it was actually rising up with it. The volatility was there, but you were able to buy, like for example, how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up. Well, it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down. Beforehand, you can buy 
at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you are going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the sixth which on the fifth it started to rise it leveled off this is the last candlestick of the fifth coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the fifth and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the sixth it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still helping the market rise up and even though the s p 500 index is rising several points there are individual ticker symbols rising up like i said 30 cents to three dollars check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money